So this is the unofficial, unsanctioned unboxing of Mosaic. I don't know. I'm going to say it's number two, even though it's probably like number 5,000. Bubble wrap. Packing list. A packet of chocolate, some tea to calm me down before I start the assembly, which I'm told that I may have inspired this particular thing being inserted in the packages due to my uh, frequent uh, querying of when, when, when is it going to be here, when is it going to be ready. More bubble wrap. We have the Mosaic Electronics, which is the ramps kit, pre-assembled and a board to, or a piece plate to assemble it, or to put it on the side of the printer. More bubble wrap. This is the X-Rail, so the left to right motor. It's going to run across the top of the printer, although I could be wrong. More bubble wrap. Okay, uh, let's see, hot end filament drive and motor mount. This is the thing what shoots out the hot plastic and pulls it through. Very important, without that, it's just a um, fancy frame. More bubble wrap. We have the heated build plate. This is the plate that's going to get extremely hot and thus help the adhesion of the plastic to it. And the word heat. So it's a uh, huge um, hunk of metal with a PCB already assembled. Most of about everything is largely assembled in here compared to some other kits, which is really cool. We have the laser cut wooden frame. So all this should pretty much just go together. And um, Hopefully it does just go together, and some people have polished it and shellacked it and done all kinds of things, but I don't have the kind of patience. We have tools. Presumably I'll need those at some point. More bubble wrap. We have the... Z platform, which will be moving up and down, holds the, the build platform. And where does it get the, the word Z? Z is for the Z axis of the Z dimension, Z, X, Y, Z planes. This is the Z rail and motor assembly with some serious hardware. Some, I think it's a four turn screw or something like that, which sounds very impressive. So four times better than the last other type of screw. Um, this is the Y rail motor assembly, front to back, helpfully noted for people like me that have no sense of direction. More bubble wrap. This is the miscellaneous box, which I can assume contains only miscellaneous things. I know it's in there though, actually. It's capped on tape and blue tape and other little pieces. Next we have power supplies, because the thing draws a honking lot of power. So we have two different power supplies that will be plugged in at some point tonight if all, all goes well. We have filament. This is the stuff that goes in one way, comes out, uh, and forms the basis of the, of the prints. This is 1.75 millimeter silver PLA. So, you know, I should run through that in about a day or two. And then we have some other, it's like, what do we got here? It's not, I thought it was green. a label. There it is. Okay, so we got green PLA and maybe, I don't know if that's natural PLA maybe, and then some yellow. One of those might be ABS. We'll see. I don't, I don't think we're going to get to it tonight. Lots more bubble wrap and 
the hardware for the kit. Surprisingly small bag of hardware, actually, considering all the things that have to go together. Um, so hopefully that will, you know, go together pretty easily. All right, at this point, we're going to shut it down and uh, start putting the thing together.